Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I'm going to do a quick kitting up of my little bunny uh, MDF wreath that I got from Craft Buddy. Um, it's coming up to Easter so I thought well we need to get this one done. So I'm going to kit it up because there is so many different bags and so many different colours. Um, I think I counted that there was 29 or 30 so what I'm going to do is put them into my little storage case okay I'm going to use this as my uh, drill storage uh, for while I'm doing my painting rather than working from the bags so uh, this is actually from Craft Buddy um, I have been using this quite a bit so I haven't got the um, unboxing and bagging to be able to show you but it is on the website and I'll put a link down below It's quite a handy little toolkit. It comes with the 28 uh, little compartment storage. I always go to the wrong side to open these. Um, just nice little containers for putting your drills in. And they snap shut so that you can keep them nice and safe in there. You do get your two clear sparkly drill pens. Uh, one comes with a three placer and a single placer. You get your little pen grips, your squishies, so that if you don't like using it as like a pen, um, you've just got a little bit of extra thickness there to hold on to it. And then you do get a multi-placer, a large multi-placer. I don't think that's the right one. Um, I think that's one of my others, but you do get a multi-placer with it. And this one I've actually filled with some hot pink gems, crystals that I had left over, because obviously it is hollow when you take uh, the lid off there. So. I've just filled it up just to make it a bit more blingy and a bit more sparkly. And then it does come with two extra little squares of wax, uh, a little white boat with a funnel, which is really handy for pouring drills into containers or back into bags. And then a larger, if you're doing a larger project, a larger orange tray. Um, I'll just compare that, uh, these two, one of your green trays. So that's your standard size green tray and this did come with the standard kit and then you can see how much bigger the orange one is so you can put a lot more drills in and not have to keep filling up if you're doing one of the larger canvases. So it's quite a handy little kit to get. I do like the orange boat and again I like the one with the spout there. So I'll just pop those out, out of the way and I won't be using my pens at the moment because we're going to be kitting up call it which is basically preparing everything so that we can just get on and do the nice bit which is the diamond painting um, I've put my sticker on this side of my plastic so that I know uh, which side to put down onto the canvas if by accident I do take the whole thing off okay just put my wax over there as well so I'll just put my canvas out the way for the moment. That lovely little bunny, look at that little face. Don't you just love that little nose? Give it a tweak. <laughs> okay, now then, this one did come with um, a lovely little copy of a, a key code. And it has got your letters on and it tells you how many drills you've got. But more importantly for me and a lot of other diamond painters, it does have your DMC codes. They are what uh, embroiderers and cross-stitchers use, the DMC code number. So if you're wanting to keep your drills and then when you've done more than one uh, canvas or project, you can then actually put um, your drills, all your 310s, which are black, all your, into one bag, um, all your 666, which is a red, all into another bag. Um, so yeah, so they're really handy to keep. So what I'm going to do, oh sorry, what I've already done is I copied this on my copy, a copier, and printed out um, another set. I don't need the number of crystals. I just need the bag number, the letter that's going to go on the canvas, and then I like to keep the DMC number as well, so that when I'm actually storing my drills. Sorry, that's my printer's just decided to talk to me for some bizarre reason. <laughs> it's always fun in my videos. Oh gosh, I don't know what it's doing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put these through my little Siron sticker maker, which is a handy hint from uh, Rebecca 4 Kids at 147. If you want to follow her on YouTube, she's got a great channel. So I'll just pop that one in. What this does, 
uh, it just makes the back of it sticky so that you can then pop it onto your little storage so pull that through as well it's just easier than messing about with glue or putting these and um, with them being so small onto um, making your own stickers okay so then the top just comes off and what happens is underneath um, is sticky oops as you can see and any of the excess glue from the stickiness just stays on the paper let me just throw that bit away and we'll do the same with the second one get rid of that and then i'm going to cut these up i've got 28 here um as i, say, I think there is 29 or 30 so they're not all going to fit in here so i'll see if i've got a little spare um tub somewhere that i can put the extras in so i'm just going to cut these along okay so i hope everybody's doing well today um i'm going to actually use this canvas this set uh, wreath for the spring things spring flings and easter things event uh, hosted by diamond painting fanatics on youtube and facebook and it's a wonderful uh, event to take part in. There's a lot of us doing it. And I do like doing the events. It just gets the community together. And you can all see what everybody else is doing. And you see lots of different uh, canvases and paintings from everywhere that people are doing. Okay, so let's just get these cut up. I like to put all my labels on my little tubs first and then put my diamonds into them rather than trying to just do it one at a time. Okay, let's just... Last one. Right, so let's get these peeled off. And as you can see, they just peel off easily. Make sure I've got my tubs the right way around. And we'll start at this side and just pop them on. Okay, so I've uh, not let you sit and watch me just putting all stickers on boxes. There is actually 28 colours, so I'm pleased I picked this because there's 28 containers and 28 different colours and gems. So that's rubbish, let's get rid of that. Put my sticker paper away for the next one. Okay, and I'm going to use this little white boat for pouring them in. So what I'm going to do is stand the container Oops, that's there into the little orange boat so if any spill I can catch them in the orange boat so we'll start with our gems see where the first ones are I think that's that's letters so let's see where we start with these okay and A is purple so I'll put the purple ones in okay just cut the end there there isn't actually the uh, dmc code on the bag so it's quite handy to have it on your little box so that if you are storing them you can just use the dmc code from there okay there isn't any dmc codes on the canvas um itself so you will need to keep your letters as well just to bear in mind so, so let's see if i can do this without using that other tray oh yeah and they're just all going to fit into there okay and then i can get rid of these little bags i tend to find with a bigger project that it's nice to have them in little tubs because if if as you're going along and you've missed one uh, gem or drill then you can just quickly just dip your pen into the little pot rather than having to open a bag uh, and they are all in order as well look i've spilt some already um, I tend to find because of uh, my eyesight, uh, my depth of field isn't brilliant. I do tend to miss things slightly, so I'm not very good at uh, pouring out where I'm. Uh, see, and just obviously keep an eye. Not all drills, uh, all craft buddy drills come in order, as far as I know the ones I've done so far, but uh, some might not. So just keep an eye on as you're putting them into your uh, storage into your little pots that you are putting the right one in the right one otherwise you might suddenly end up with a pink bunny you never know you might like a pink bunny <laughs> the 
this is a lovely shade of pink. I think this will be the flowers though. Okay, again, I've spilt some. So it's handy to have your little pots stood in a tray so you're not having to pick them up off your desk um, or off your carpet even. They're awful to get off carpets if anybody's tried. I've got one of those little tiny desk hoovers, but I tend to find if it goes on the carpet, it picks up all the fluff as well. <laughs> and I end up with a lot of fluff. <laughs> so that's the first four done. Okay, so, and then E. Choose the next one. Okay. And obviously you've still got your little key code as well. You can just use this um, for your containers if you like, but I like to keep things like this and put them. I have a little um, log book of all the diamond painting um, projects and diamond paintings that I've done. So I tend to keep uh, anything like that that comes with it and put those in my log book for future reference. Okay, so that's that one. Another lovely shade of pink. Oh, we're on to uh, the green now. It's a very deep green. Lots of shine as these are going into these pots. Just uh, pop you a bit closer there. Oh, and just one escapee on that one, look. Okay, and the next one is G. It's lovely weather here today in the UK. Um, I've got my washing out on the line. I've done all my bedding, my quilt cover and uh, my sheets and they're all blowing away in the wind. I've got an escapee in there. Look, we'll leave him in there for now. Okay, this pours nicely, this orange tray. Uh, even though it hasn't got an open spout like the, oops, like the white boat, it is still pouring into the little tubs very well. So. A good tray, like that one. Okay, and this is H, yeah. So we'll have all clean sheets tonight. Don't you just love it when you've had a, a bath or a shower and all your sheets are clean that you get into? It's a lovely feeling. It's always better doing it on a Saturday night or a night when you've got to lie in the next day so you make the most of them. <laughs> Thorny brownie colour. I think these are possibly the rabbit colours. I did see actually um, on the Craft Buddy Facebook group, I think it was, that somebody had done this and actually made the rabbit uh, white. So you can actually change out your colours if you wish. Just work out how many colours you've got and what shades you need. Um, and then if you've got any spare drills, you can uh, change them into the other colours. You can do exactly what you want. It's your painting. And you can do it however you like. Okay, and the next one, this is like a mockery type colour. Ooh, all these chocolatey browns and mocker colours are making me want a, a hot chocolate. I think I might have to treat myself to a hot chocolate. <laughs> Even though it is a sunny day, it's never too hot for a hot chocolate. a rosy pinky colour. I've got one just stuck in the end there. Get down there with your friends. Oh, I think that might be stuck in the packaging. So we'll leave him there. An escapee. Okay. Oh. Spilt a little bit, but never mind. They've all gone in the tray, so that's good. Just shake them down to the end. Oops. Oh, I have lost a couple there, look. Just pop those in. Oh, I've made a right mess of these, Liz. What do you think you're doing? It had to happen. Um, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you do know that I am quite a spiller. Unfortunately, Craft Buddy do give you uh, a good number of extra drills. So if you are a spiller like me and do tend to throw them around and lose the odd one or three or five, then... Uh, you will have some spares, so you're not going to run out. But if you do have any problems, um, and if you do find that you have run out of drills or you've lost some, give uh, Craft Buddy uh, Customer Services uh, an email and they will get back to you or um, give them a ring. They will get back to you and they are very, very good at their customer service. Or I've found that they've been good whenever I've had to use them anyway. Okay. Oh, wow, look at that colour. That's like a plummy, magenta -y 
burgundy colour. It's going to be lots and lots of different ones. Come on, get in there. We haven't got all day to be hanging about in the end. Okay, so what's everybody else working on at the moment? Hope you're all still enjoying your diamond painting. We are still uh, in lockdown in the UK, sadly, at the moment as well. Um, so we have to be careful. Um, can't really go out, there's not much open. So diamond painting is just a wonderful way to pass the time. That's a nice sea green there. Just popping that one into its little box. Oops, open the boxes before you open the packet. You're too good at spilling to not do that. Okay, and that's the next one. We're getting there, look. We're rattling through these colours. Next one is tea. Make sure we've got the right one. Yep. Keep going. Oh, we're getting to our special ones soon. I love all the special drills. I think uh, there's just some wonderful gems. And I do find with diamond painting that there's just some fascinating shapes and colours and you think well how on earth is that going to work on this canvas and why would that colour be there but then when it's all put together it just looks amazing and it just all blends and all the hard work's done for you all the picking of colours and blending is all done for you all you have to do is just place those little gems or drills onto your canvas onto the right letters and it just pops and anybody can do it. That's what I like about it. You know, it's, it's just something that anybody can pick up and have a go. And I must admit, I've not met many people, if any, that once they've tried it aren't hooked. <laughs> and uh, I've had uh, the grandchildren do it. Uh, my daughter, stepdaughter does it. And I'm trying to get the other side of the family into uh, doing it as well. And uh, my nephew, um, he's watching quite a few of my videos, so hello if you're watching. And uh, I'm going to try and get him into having a go. You never know anything until you try it. You might absolutely love it. Okay, so, oh, and now we're on to Z. So let's get the next container. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> Good job, the numbered. And yep, we're Z there. So those in what uh, they tend to do with these as well is try and keep uh, like numbers like eight and then letters like b away from one another um, and letters that can be confused as to different colors so it just makes it easier on the eyes if you do have any problems or if you're not uh, crafting with say a light pad you can't use a light pad um, on these obviously because they are mdf so a light pad not going to see through it but I have got um, a magnifying light that I now use. And so anything that is a project like this that you wouldn't be able to see through, I can still magnify my letters and it does make them brighter. So it makes them easier for my sight um, to be able to see them, to do them. OK, so we're now on to a little letter A and we're on to the crystals. So these are like your normal crystal, just a silver crystal there. And that's like a very pale champagne-y, goldy crystal. It's the next one. So A is the first one. Uh, lowercase A. Those. And here, as you can see, these little containers are just about the right size for this amount of gems, which is great. And um, Craftwoody do do the other uh, like little bottle containers in a wonderful storage case i have got some of those on order and i'm waiting for those to arrive so when they come i will show you those okay so that's oh let's tip them out the other way where the uh, packaging extra bit is okay and that's b yeah and it has craft buddy logo on the front as well in purple which is wonderful Right, so our next one is O, and oh, we've got two packets of O. Ah, that's why I thought there was 29, because we've got two packets of stars. Okay, so let's see if they will fit into this one, with them being a shape. I'm easily confused. Don't do things like this to confuse me. <laughs> okay, we've got two packets of O. <laughs> okay. 
them in there. Look, we should be able to get the others in as well. So we'll open both packets. That's that one and that one. So the next one is X and that one is I. And I believe that that says I as well. So let's put I in next because that's the next one along. And these are your marquee. Oh, look at those. All sparkly there. Ooh, is it going to look good? I think I've mentioned before we do have an Easter tree. So I've got my Easter wreath to go with my Easter tree. And we'll get started on it. I will post pictures on uh, my Facebook and Instagram account. Um, Liz Harris and Scotty Dog Crafts, if you want to. Pop along and see and I'll post pictures of how I'm getting along with this and then I will do a review once I have got it completed as well. I can't think that this will take me too long to do um, so possibly um, within the next week I will have got it done. Oops, just get that one tipped into there, that's X and the next one is T and E so that one must be the E. As I say, always double check as you're going through your containers that you're getting your right gems in your right places. Although, oh no, they are the same shape, so it's always better to check there. Okay, so that's E. Put those in there, lovely. Again, an A, B, Aurora Borealis coating on those. And that one is T, yep. So that's all 28 colours, all in this lovely little container. Okay, so we are now all kitted up and ready to go. So I'll just pop that down and I'll just show you the underside. Look, don't they all look pretty when they're all in their little boxes, all ready to go. All your specials at this end. Looks really, really good. So that's all my gems done. I've got my trays ready, I've got my pens all ready to go, I've got my little key code just in case I need it there and I've got my canvas. So we're all set up and done. So thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed seeing how I put a kit together uh, ready for working on and if you've enjoyed it then please press that like button and if you want to see a bit more then please subscribe and you'll be notified when I do a next video. Thanks for watching. See you all again soon. Bye.